Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows the different types of ovarian cysts. And if you want to understand and see the different types of cysts, you will have to watch this video till end. You can see this is the first video and it shows two cysts. This one is the hemorrhagic ovarian cyst and this cyst measures more than six centimeter. This is the cervix, this is urinary bladder and this is the hemorrhagic ovarian cyst. Hemorrhagic ovarian cyst HOC is an adenexal mass formed because of occurrence of bleeding into a follicular or corpus luteum cyst. So, if hemorrhage occurs in an, in a simple ovarian cyst, it will be called hemorrhagic ovarian cyst. Hemorrhagic cysts are commonly seen in clinical practice because the hemorrhage into a cyst is usually painful triggering the patient to consult her physician. So this is the cyst lies in the cul-de-sac. Now the cyst lying beside this hemorrhagic cyst is a simple cyst. Follicular cyst or corpus luteal cyst. Most many radiologists use the term complex to describe all cysts other than the totally clear simple cysts. However, many benign entities are complex such as dermoid cyst, endometriomas, hemorrhagic cyst and cyst adenoma. So this one is the simple cyst. Now you have seen the simple cyst and the hemorrhagic ovarian cyst. Having a hemorrhagic ovarian cyst is not necessarily a problem. Many times these cysts do not cause symptoms and are often found during a pelvic examination that is done for another reason. If the cyst is small or medium sized and is not causing the patient any pain or other symptoms then the doctor likely will recommend monitoring it. Now this is the second video and this video shows multiple fibroids along with bilateral endometriomas also called the chocolate ovarian cyst. In these types of examinations when there are multiple findings the Probe handling is very important as the just slightly turning the angle of the probe will push the left side into a right side. So it should be done very carefully. You can see the a large mass is seen in the uterus fibroid, a large fibroid, two smaller Fibroids are also visible as you will see later in this video. Now you can see again the fibroid. A hemorrhage or ruptured ovarian cyst is the most common cause of acute pelvic pain in an afebrile premenopausal pre woman presenting to the emergency room. They can occur during pregnancy also. Now you can see the cyst, chocolate ovarian cyst, also called the endometrioma. Hemorrhagic cysts are normal in ovulatory women, usually resolving within eight weeks. This can be quite variable in appearance, however, and can be confused with an ovarian endometrioma, as you are going to see. In this case, both the cysts are endometriomas also called the chocolate cyst you can see the homogeneous thick fluid in this cyst
Endometrioma, also called the chocolate cyst or endometriotic cyst, are a localized form of endometriosis and are usually within the ovary. Again, you can see the masses, the fibroids. Chocolate cysts are non-cancerous fluid-filled cysts that typically form deep within the ovaries. They are also called the ovarian endometriomas. The color comes from old menstrual blood and tissue that fills the cavity of the cyst. A chocolate cyst can affect one or both ovaries and may occur in multiple or singular. You can see in this case both the ovaries have a chocolate cyst. As you will see there is a large endometrioma measuring more than 18 centimeter in diameter. Quite a large chocolate cyst or endometrioma. Now you will see the right ovarian cyst both the cyst this is the large endometrioma or chocolate cyst you can see this is round to oval in shape and has homogeneous thick turbid fluid in its interior Endometriomas are distinguished from other types of ovarian cysts by somewhat grainy and non-completely anechoic content. This is a large endometrioma and this cyst has extended upwards into the abdominal cavity. just up to the just below the umbilicus now you can see this is quite a large cyst and it measures about 18.0 centimeter into 18.8 centimeter quite a large endometrioma a smaller simple cyst is also visible in this in this ovary along with the this larger endometrioma endometriosis causes the chocolate cyst endometrial tissue lines the uterus and endometri endometriosis causes this tissue to grow outside the uterus as well Endometrial tissue can attach to the ovarian fallopian tubes, ovaries fallopian tubes and nearby organs such as the urinary bladder. Again you can see the multiple fibroids and these multiple cysts. Chocolate cysts are common in women with endometriosis Symptoms can often be managed with medicines. In some cases, the cyst will need to be removed, as in this case, it is quite a large cyst and surgery is needed as the patient is experiencing quite intense pain. According to a study, about 30% of surgical, surgically removed chocolate cysts will return, especially if they were larger are medially uh, medically treated so in this video you have seen the simple cyst and these two endometrial endometrial cysts are chocolate cyst and in the first video, you have seen a hemorrhagic ovarian cyst.
as this patient has multiple fibroids as well as the bilateral chocolate cysts so surgery is needed If ovulation occurs less often or if the eggs are less healthy, the chances of pregnancy decreases. It is important to remember that endometriomas do not inevitably cause infertility. In fact, some women with advanced endometriosis and chocolate cysts easily get pregnant. Endometriosis may be considered the most serious threat to a woman's reproductive potential, with the exception of cancerous tumors of the reproductive tract. These cysts can represent a medical dilemma even while women are receiving fertility treatments such as assisted reproductive technologies ART. Again you can see these cysts and multiple fibroids. I hope this video will help you to understand the different types of the ovarian cysts. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.